welcome back to Massage with Katrina. I'm Katrina. In today's video, we're going to primarily focus on the muscle groups that get tight for dental hygienists. Now I have two videos for dental hygienists. This video is the shorter version. It'll only be about 10 minutes long, but if you would like a more in-depth self-massage, I have a 30 minute video as well that gets more in depth into these muscle areas. Be sure you always talk to a doctor before you give yourself a massage. Make sure it's okay, but otherwise, let's get started. All right, to start this next part, we're gonna focus on the neck and shoulders. And I wanted to introduce Moses. He's often meowing in the background of all my videos because he wants attention. So anyway, this is Moses. I love him very much. We'll see if he hops up here very often. <laughs> but to start off, we're gonna be working on the neck and shoulders for the shorter version of massage. So I'll go ahead and don't really need lotion or oil for this part. This video is short and more geared, <laughs> this video is more geared toward if you need, you know, a quick fix on your lunch break or, you know, you're on the go and you need just something to help relieve tension. So no oil or lotion, but go ahead and look straight forward and just start squeezing those upper traps with both your hands. This is actually probably better if you're sitting at a desk because you can rest your elbows on it as you squeeze. And I think that helps your arms not to get so tired, but we're working our way up the neck. And I'm just using my fingers to kind of pull away from the spine and using the heel of my hand to press in. So we're just squeezing those upper traps, trying to get some movement in there. Be sure you're still breathing, take nice deep breaths, kind of work those suboccipitals right at the hairline at the base of your skull. Squeeze those traps. If you want to close your eyes, kind of enjoy this. I would highly recommend it. And then work your way up, and then just kind of work your way back down once you get up to the top of the neck. <laughs> so back down into the shoulders. Perfect. Next, what we're going to do is kind of stretch the neck. So I want to, we're going to use just the, this part of the fingers. Actually, I don't know what that's called. <laughs> but go ahead and just use your fingers and start kind of right behind the ear here. And you're gonna apply pressure, start sliding down your neck towards your traps. And as you do that, you're gonna tilt your head side to side. Whew. Deep breath, work this. And I'm actually going straight down towards my collarbones. It's kind of stretching out all these muscles in the front of your neck. That's an area I think that gets ignored a lot, even when you go get a massage from a massage therapist. I think that's an area that tends to get really tight, especially when you work a stressful job or a job, you know, hygienist where you're hunched over doing kind of all these fine motor movements. The front of your neck gets really tight from that. So just do this a few times. Just really stretching out the front of that neck. Perfect. All the way down the collarbone. I'm kind of tilting my chin up to get a deeper stretch. And let's do that one more time, starting up behind the shoulder blades. This is the sternocleidomastoid muscle, which is a very long name, but <laughs> that's what it's called. Or you might have heard it called the SCM. Oh, tilt that chin up. Anyway, that's a muscle that gets really tight quite often. And we'll move on to the next part. For this shorter 10 minute video, we're gonna be massaging the lower back with a foam roller. But if you do not have a foam roller, don't fret. I have found if you have one of those vacuum sealed steel water bottles, maybe just wrap it in a rag or an old t-shirt. That works phenomenally well and does great foam rolling. But if you have a foam roller, go ahead and grab it because that's what we're gonna use to start out. All right, to start off, find a comfortable place to lay down on the floor and grab your foam roller or water bottle and go ahead and place it right on your lower back to start. And you might need to brace yourself because this can be a little intense at first. But go ahead and just lean back until your shoulders are flat on the floor. And to start off, we're just gonna roll on the low back a little bit. Now, if laying completely on with your shoulders on the floor is a little too intense for your lower back, you can prop yourself up pretty easily on your elbows just like this. And just roll back and forth right on that sacral iliac joint, right where your low back and your spine connects to your hips. 
we're just kind of rolling across that joint or right if, if it hurts to roll right on the joint just roll right up to it and then roll back up your back we'll do that a few times and once that has kind of warmed up a bit we're going to start rolling all the way up the back so just go nice and slow you might drop your head back so your neck doesn't get all tight so just kind of roll yourself oops caught my shirt <laughs> Just kind of roll yourself all the way. Well, I need to readjust because I'm on my table. But we're just, you want to roll yourself all the way forward in a fluid motion. So now I've rolled up to my neck and I'm going to go ahead and put my arms straight back because that helps to really stretch out between those shoulder blades. And sometimes I'll just prop my head up with my arms like this. And taking deep breaths, just roll back and forth over your shoulder blades. Oh, you might get some pops in your spine. And that's great. We're just getting some movement. After you've done that a couple times, go ahead and continue that roll all the way down your back. And you want to move nice and slow. Don't go too fast. And when you get to a point when your abs are starting to engage and you don't like that, Go ahead and pop yourself up on your elbows and just keep rolling all the way to where the low back and spine connect to that your hips and then we're just going to roll back the other way and same thing bring those arms up over your head hold your head up and we'll do that again all the way down to your low back perfect and then one more time go ahead and roll oops my shirt keeps getting caught <laughs> go ahead and roll up to your shoulders put those hands behind your head Whew. perfect and that's how we get the lower back warmed up all right, last but not least, we're gonna focus on the hands, hands and forearms. So go ahead and place one, choose whichever hand you want, place it on a flat surface, either crisscross applesauce on your knee or maybe on a desk if you're at work. Go ahead and place it there and we're gonna use the point of our elbow to, you're gonna put your elbow right here and then just follow this pattern of sliding up through the palm of your hand to the base of your knuckles. So we're just gonna Follow that pattern all through the palm. So slide your way up. And if you're kind of uncoordinated with your elbow and you're like, heck no, this is not working, you can use the point of your knuckles too and really dig in there. I've just found it's easier with my elbow because all you have to do is lean into it and you kind of save your other hand from having to do all that work and save yourself some soreness and pain. So slide your way through. And just like so. There we go. And if you feel any spots that are more sore than others, don't skip over it. Take a moment to just stroke through that area. Really a apply that same pressure over that sore spot and make sure you're not moving super fast. It helps to just go nice and slow and just work out that sore area. It might be your thumb, it might be out towards your pinky side of your palm, either way. Okay, and then once you've kind of worked out any areas that are really sore, we're going to move into a stretch for the wrist and forearm. So, okay, go ahead and shake that out. And what I want you to do is grab your thumb, and here, I'll turn to this side so you can see, but grab your thumb and straighten your arm out in front of you, and just pull that thumb back. Wiggle your fingers, take a deep breath. Awesome, same thing with your fingers, grab those. And just really extend. You should feel a good stretch through the base of your wrist here. <sighs> oh, I need this. <laughs> All right, and then same thing, except bring your hand down. 
And we're gonna stretch out the top of the wrist. So deep breath. And if you don't wanna hold your arm up, you don't have to, you can just drop it down to whatever's comfy. I'm just doing this so I can show you guys what it looks like. Okay, shake that out and then we will massage the other side. I think I just did this hand, so we'll switch to the other hand. <laughs> So go ahead, using your elbow or your knuckles, same thing, we'll just draw a pattern up through the palm. Basically just starting at this base here and spidering out up to the base of the fingers. So yeah, use your elbow or your knuckles and do that. Make sure you're not going too fast. Just go nice and slow. That is the key to massage and stretching, honestly. When it comes to muscles, everything's gotta be slow. Well, when it comes to taking care of your muscles, everything's gotta be slow. You don't crank into a stretch. I mean, you never saw somebody that just, when they're stretching, they don't just jump into the splits. I mean, there are a few people that can, and if you can, good for you. I wouldn't recommend it because <laughs> you are very prone to injury if you do that. All right, I'm just still working my way through the palm. Nice and slow. And then same as the other side, if you feel any spots that were more sore than others, go back to that, work through it, really strip through that muscle and work that tension out. All right, awesome. Okay, when you're ready, let's go ahead and jump into the stretch. So take your thumb and pull back. And again, you don't have to hold it up. You can just relax down and just try to get a good stretch through your thumb here. All right, shake that out. Take your fingers, pull back. And actually it helps a lot if you are completely relaxed for this stretch. So like if you're not, I'd recommend just resting your arm on something as you pull those fingers back into that stretch. All right, shake that out and then go ahead and Pull your fingers down. Get a good stretch through the back of your forearm here. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Awesome, shake that out. Great job, you guys. That was the video of massage for dental hygienists. I hope that was helpful. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if maybe anything didn't work for you. I would love to just answer your question in the comments. Um, but otherwise, have a blessed day. It's beautiful outside. Enjoy it. And I'll see you guys next time.